I'm Josh Alpert from Good Swings Happen Junior Golf Academy at the Lakes, and welcome to this SCGA Swing Tip. For today's tip, we're going to look at a driving range scenario, and we're going to talk about turning a typical driving range session a little bit more closely related to a play session. I see far too many players on the driving range just scooping ball after ball, hitting seven iron after seven iron to the same target from the same standing location, or driver after driver teeing one up after another working on their quote unquote swing. What I would suggest is that players spend a little bit more time going through their complete routine as if the shot that they were hitting was out on a golf course. So how I would simulate this is once I have a ball in play, I'm gonna go to my range finder and I'm gonna laser my target. I'm gonna come up with a distance and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit this shot in my full routine taking my time to identify my target, relax my shoulders with breath, go through my entire routine that I go through the same way that I hit each and every shot on the golf course. And then come back and I would begin the process again. Again, what we're achieving here is, is the sense that every single shot on the range can be created into developing habits about how you prepare to hit those shots, how you think, how you breathe, and how you feel, as much as the technical elements that we all typically work on. So taking it one step further, we're gonna work on the same routines, only this time we're gonna create real life situations and real life consequences out on the driving range. So in this instance, instead of hitting my nine iron at the flag like I was in the original shot, I'm gonna go ahead and create a scenario where the flag is now tucked in the left-hand side of the green and there's a lake immediately to the left and I've got a big wide bailout area to the right. So now that I've gone through and can see where the flag is and see where the trouble is and see where the safety is, I can now make decisions about where I wanna aim relative to a real life situation and I can also learn a little bit more about when it's time for me to pull the trigger Am I able to commit to those same targets when I know that there's trouble, or is it harder for me to do that? And in this light, practicing your full routine and your routine with real life circumstances might give you some insight as to why you're a better range player than you are a player out on the golf course. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Alpert, and we'll see you next time for another SCGA Swing Tip.